And what's up guys, welcome back to another All Here International Aviation video. So this is just a quick story of what happened. Uh, uh, this was a few days ago and yeah, let's just get right into it. So uh, as you can see, this is my flight records. Uh, so I was taking my Mavic Mini out. Uh, this was at night time. Uh, it was just a usual flight and uh, you can see I'm starting to take off. I'm at five feet now and I will start to... Uh, uh now you can see i'm starting to go away uh and yeah so everything seems to be normal at this point nothing uh unusual was happening so i was just in enjoying the flight and all but uh yeah And then as you can see right here, this was the very first strong wind warning uh, that I had. So usually I, I, I just ignore it because in like a few seconds it just go away and all. But uh, this was actually going on for a while. It, uh, I could feel the um, the whole entire controlling like uh, vibrating. And at this point uh, I was starting to freak out because uh, it usually the strong wind warning thing just pops away. But at this point, I was starting to get freaked out. But I still, I don't know what I was doing. I, I was being super dumb. I don't know why I didn't return to home. But I was just being super, super stupid. But uh, yeah, I, I, I just kept on going. And now at this point, this is when I was being really, really super stupid. So the wind was getting really super, super bad. It was going 13 miles per hour up there. And I was only at 50%. And that is when it gave me the return to home thing. But I canceled it. I don't know why I did not come back. I was being super, super stupid. But I, I, I just kept on going. I do not know why. But I just kept on going. Uh, yeah, so there's a really strong wind. Like I said, it was 13 miles per hour. The max is 18. So that is just crazy. Um, and, uh, the motors have to spin faster to fight the wind. And that's why, uh, uh, and battery, uh, gets consumed more faster. And I don't know why I didn't turn around. I was just being super stupid.
and I was getting started to freaked out because uh, it was low battery, the strong wind warning, and I was still 4,000 feet away. This time, I, I, I just panicked, but I, I just hoped that I'd make it back. And uh, it, it was really, this, this was the most scariest uh, in experience with, with this drone in my life. This is so scary. So the wind was still 18 miles per hour, and now we can see that it's 16. And the first landing will be really, really soon. So I just started to freak out. Uh, and yeah. Now, at this point, I was going super, super slow because of the wind. It was super, super fast. And the wind just kept on picking up. And I was on 11%. And this thing was going to land on its own because um, it's on 11%. So, yeah, now I was starting to get really faked out. Uh, I knew I was not going to make it back. That is no way. And I was still 2,000 feet away. So, at this point, it just started... Um, Land, but right now it just started landing and I just super freaked out. Uh, I'm very happy that it was at 400 feet or so. I would have landed on the road, uh, if I, if I was any lower than this. And I just went, uh, I my brother helped me actually, and because I just freaked out. And uh, so we landed it at the basketball court because I because that is basically the only safe place. Because if you do it in the road, uh, people will get in a car crash because and uh. It just started to land on its own, and uh, it landed in the middle of the basketball thing, and uh, yeah. So uh, we used the maps to find out where it was with Find My Drone. We used the maps and we got directions to where it was. And here's the drone. It was completely fine. Uh, there was nothing wrong with it. And it was completely fine. It was, it was still like uh, probably like half a mile out. And as you can see in this video, uh, you can see the lights uh, right by the road on top of the road. That is actually where I landed, uh, as you can see. Uh, yeah. So that's the road. This is the, uh, at this point, the drone just, uh, it was super low, it was then 10%. But uh, I, I, this was when I was starting to really freak out because I knew I was not going to make it back. And at this point, the drone just started landing. And this is not the actual footage I think it's later on or, or before this. But um, yeah, at this point, it, it just started landing. as, And you can see the green thing, uh, the green thing right next to the parking lot. In the dense center of that that is where we landed uh yeah so that is pretty much it and uh yeah i, I hope you enjoyed this quick video uh make sure to turn a post notification give a like and i will see you next time uh and don't ever try this with your mavic mini do not if you have a strong green morning and uh if you ha ever have a return to home thing return to home immediately because that is very accurate but uh yeah that's pretty much it make sure to give a like turn up post notifications i will see you next time and thanks for watching